All right, so let's make a shirt for a church, okay? Um, we have a ton of designs in here that are really well-balanced, professional-looking uh, designs, right? Uh, and we try to set this up so that, you know, the, the idea behind much of what we do is to make it so that when you need to put something together, you're not having to start from scratch, and it's not a daunting task to create a good-looking design, okay? So, let's go ahead and grab something and then modify it, okay? We're going to go with this one here. So, I'm going to shrink this thing back down. I was zooming in so that uh, uh, the beginning there, you'd be able to see real clear that we were doing church designs, okay? So... There we go. That should work. All right. So I'm going to zoom back out, and then I'm going to change the product color so that uh, well, I want to go with this here. Okay. So that you know, this is this is the color of hoodie that I think I want to try to promote. Okay. So we're going to start out with we're going to come up here and grab the the name, and we're going to go with. Um, let's go with. New Life. I'm going to zoom in here. And then, whoop, that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to go with this here. New Life Church. And then I'm going to go back to Layers. And I'm going to click on this. Never alone. Okay. And I'm going to slide this over a little bit. Okay. Now, we've got a bunch of good artwork in here. I think I'm going to go take a look. Go into clip art. Okay. Now, we can come down here to religious art. And... You're going to see a bunch of stuff that is your style, not your style. Um, you know, what you believe in, not what you believe. Um, but you're going to find you're going to find some stuff in here that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's come down here. And I think I like the style of what uh, what I have already. But I think that there's there should be something in here that's a little bit different than uh, than what I have. That'll work. Okay, so it's similar in style. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, and then I am going to come and I'm gonna take this and you know what? I want to make this gray, and I want to make that text gray. Okay, so I'm going to move this up here, and I am going to, this handle right here, I don't know why that handle's like underneath there, but I'm going to twist that just a little bit, okay? Now, you can see that the cross graphic here is on top of the church. Um, what I'm going to do is move this stuff around. Okay. So when I move it and I layer it up, I'm able to make sure that I get these graphics in the right order. Okay. Now, these are both the same color, so I can't have them really touching each other. What I'll do here is I'll just shrink this a little bit, slide it over. I'll probably shrink it just a little bit more. Now what I can also do is I can grab this, and I'm not sure why the handle keeps moving underneath that text up there, but it sure does. Okay. So, I can go like that, and now I've got a pretty good graphic. Okay? So, that is kind of how I'm putting together this design. Let's uh, zoom back out. I think we got a pretty good looking uh, uh, graphic going on here. I may just take this, I'm going to zoom in here, and I may just like 
can make this a little smaller because it sort of looked like it was sticking out past the other graphic pretty far. Um, so anyway, that is a real quick tutorial on how to uh, how to knock down a uh, how to put up a, a church design and uh, use one of our templates. Now, one of the things that uh, that I'll also show you because uh, of the way that we did our did our templates is if you go into design ideas, you're going to see, you know, in ministry designs, you're going to see all of these, right? Now, some of these are set up so that you can modify the text. Uh, others are not, like this winter camp. Um, that is not, um, that is not modifiable text. Winter camp is a graphic, and it's not letters, right? So you can't click on it and retype it. Uh, it's a shape that was created so that you could have little drips and stuff like that. Um, there's a handful that are like this, uh, like the uh, Love One Another. Uh, we created that graphic. Okay, So some of these are not going to be uh, changeable like that. Now, whenever we did have a font that we felt um, uh, was especially, you know, uh, was especially good, uh, we did that. So, uh, but also down here in religious, you're going to find different categories. So these are these are some of the uh, templates that we have for uh, for camps, for ministry, missions, retreats, all of that. Okay, so it's not just for youth groups. It's not just for uh, the you know, adults in the church or whatever. Uh, this is for, you know, people that want to design something for their church. Um, and you can also grab everything, and if you want to give it a little twist, uh, you can do that too. So anyway, I'm Adam Funderberg, and now I am starting to meander a little bit. Uh, and as always, okay, click the Save button. Save the thing off. Okay, this is done, and now you're going to email it to yourself. Uh, if you've got any questions, adam at brainlessseas.com is where to go. Okay. Now it is in my email box, and I can forward this on to uh, whoever. So, all right, cool beans.